The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, boom 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 time. Yes, 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 yeah man, yes. We don't know what they already, you know, by now, I have to tell the item says, In the meantime, yes, episode 40 entitled Kid Games, yeah, man, watch I know. Some very serious things are going on in this country, I tell you. Very serious indeed, my brother, very serious. Yeah, man, I tell you that. Many of the happenings of the past few weeks, yeah, man, both local and overseas, is a direct. Practical lesson in a many things when me I show the item in this show, yeah, from, from how long. I don't know already, you know, so this show is not a blog. I'm, I mean, I have to wait for things happen, for have things for say. But ever so often, you have things where happen, where present me with the opportunity for use them thing there, yeah, man, for use these things as practical examples. And when me I say, in order to help the item better understand when, when me really want to get across. So, yeah, man, alright. I have a special episode for the item tonight, yeah, man. Me I tell you, Rasta. I don't know if I ask if the word of the day is cult. <laughs> me I tell you, but I not touch that yet, yeah, man, until further down. So watch I know. By now, most, most people watch a show named Squid Game already, yeah, man. I see that show in a very different way from the average person. Me I tell you that. Why is that? Because the average person look on the surface, so them only see the entertainment aspect of it. Hey, you remember when we, when we showed the item about the one grid of consciousness where all we connect to? Well, I believe, said the so-called new show here. I tell you a few things indirectly when we've been saying that this old program a few how long. And I don't know the writer from nowhere. So you really believe that it, 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 it's exposing and um, similar, uh, similar outlook to what, um, to few things that you've been saying? Yeah, man, I just, that the message, you know, straightforward. Remember, I'm showing sure how my belief, say, the Bible and even whole heap of show and fairy tale and them thing, they wasn't meant to be taken literal and, and that many of them have a deeper meaning because there is a spiritual reality of good versus evil and lie versus truth. We always are running at the background of every story. It is the spiritual reality of the natural world that cannot be seen with the naked eyes. Yeah, man, only spiritual eyes. The average person just often too distracted by them over simple belief system to notice these things. Yeah, man. Well, to show you now, one more of, of, of those kind of yeah, things where I show you. In a symbolic way, the objective truth of the condition of the world and prove to be another confirmation of when me I show the item from day one. About the state of competition with everything in this material world you built upon. How so though, my brother? I saw the series and I didn't see anything special about it. Me know by now, so you wouldn't see it, man. Me I tell you that. You remember me always say I believe, say, no one not truly know where they would have do until, until they have to do it. Oh yes, you always say that. Well, the same thing I seen at the show when we been asked about the idea of self, where most people have, which is one now, being the good or humble vision of all that is right and pure, good and excellent in the world, which is an illusion, nothing but Dalios. All right, you remember me showing that thing when we said the, the, the average human and, and them habit of assuming that them know everything and don't want to know anything else is one of the major problems we destroy them life. Because them assume that everything is one particular thing or another. So them never from them born make a well-informed decision yet. And them don't know. Well, I'm going to show you the part in the show now. Eh? Mankind habit of assuming say, oh, we understand a particular thing is the only interpretation or meaning 
we think you have and that get we in a trouble because we not ask no question we, we think we know already you're saying yeah man we not buy no vowel we sure see how it go because watching at this show you know when the brother named Gihon or something like so you're talking player 456 yeah man 456 yeah him read the player consent farm in a bridging. We have only three class. Class one say, you can't leave the game voluntarily. Means you can't choose to leave. Who run the game have to decide that. Class two say, those who leave are going to be eliminated. And class three say, you can only leave if the majority of the players agree to leave. So you know why 456 and everyone else sign it? I've actually grown tired of pretending I know so I can ask you to pretend that I don't know so you can actually tell me, my brother. I, I, I'm tired of it. Because I'm assume like everybody else, boy, can't leave the game. Means, say, uh, can't leave the simple one-dimensional thing where him see as a game from him small. And him, like everybody else, think the word eliminate only mean drop out or lose the game and go home go bed. And come back next year, come try again. I'm sure most of who sign it don't even care what the word mean. This again proves that true literacy is not academic but a spiritual reality. Because even some very brilliant people like the one when named Sang Wu, they write beside the biggest dunce of butter for life because the whole of them spiritually illiterate. Hey, I'm telling you all the while in a Rasta. Say both the man we can't read a book and the man we don't read a book. Don't the wine of the book. Because none out of two of them don't know it. And in this case, the book of life is where most people cannot read. Because it's not a literal, but a spiritual and metaphysical book. <laughs> Boy, I don't want to go too deep. But watch, I you know. When they go play the game name Red Light, Green Light, I you know. And she said the thing, Zero Samara jump out and yai ball and look so many new for live. The one them will live out this first game, yai ball. Cree and after them done. Boy, them never sign up for this thing, yeah. And when one of the soldiers them, you know, who guard and manage the game for the front man, where, yeah, the front man who more you consider like a president then, you understand, who is just a manager and a puppet for the VIPs who truly run the system, <laughs> yeah man. Do you, yeah. you really believe that, my brother? Yeah man, you know, read Planet Earth. Oh, you mean if you believe that? I will ask, I will ask me say, when the soldier, Read back the consent farm to the player them, where they, where them sign now in ignorance, you know. And ready for kill them, you know, and, 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 and the one, you know, named Sang Woo, yeah, the same Sang Woo. Run out with him smart self and remind them about the third class. Where say, boy, if majority of them vote for stop the game, then it have to stop. The guard say yes and agree with him, you know. But you notice what the guard do before. Yeah, yeah, before them going at the voting. For who for stay and who, and who for leave. I don't remember, you have to repeat it. Them show them the big ball of money and that divide half of the crowd. Who know I beg for stay because the idea of how easy it is to just win this game and all of them problems solve and them can go home. But, uh, my brother, the players in the movie after the first game just saw about 200 plus of their fellow contestants die, my brother. So, I don't see the logic in, 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 in why they would want to continue to play it. I don't. For the same reason why them end up this way in the first place, brethren. The average person socialized for believe in a chaos and confusion. Everything where them believe, make them feel, say, them should have get everything one time. Therefore, every move where they make, whatever move where they make, them life become harder. And the harder them life become is the more them get obsessed with wanting it easy. And at this make it hard. I see what you're saying. Uh, uh, you do have a point. But, 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 but why though, my brother? It starts from the root. Because the simple thing that life did appear to be when them small and never have no real responsibility is where them spend them life and try get back. But, but, my brother. Yeah. Let, let's say, um, let's say, the child was not privileged. I, I, I don't see how your argument would make any sense. I, I don't. And what I say, let me tell you something, man. Every child is privileged to some extent. That makes absolutely no sense. How can you say that? I don't see the logic in what you're saying, my brother. Because when you're small, let's say you suffer. There is no judgment upon you as a child in a Rasta. Because as a child, you're not black, you're not white, you're not lazy, you're not illiterate. You're not terrorist. You're not feminist. You're not sexist. Because in the eyes of the world at that stage, of your life or stage of development. 
He's just a child, you're not supposed to dip on your own narrow meat certain struggle. So there is no judgment. Because you should be protected by your parents at that um, stage, you're saying? Exactly. You should have your parents' responsibility. But when you grow up now, you no longer have the privilege of childhood. We make the world overlook the reason why you suffer. You will now be judged for your own failures. I must admit that sometimes I'm really afraid to understand what you're saying, but I, I see your point. Yeah, man. So watch out now. Because of how most people socialize to interpret the world, them end up in discipline. The average adult spend adulthood wanting to return to a time where people never blame them for their own feelings. And we don't have no school where teach people how to deal with the transition from child to adult or home to society. Where the reality is now different because of you now have to take responsibility for your own action. There is no kind of school to bring awareness to that. So the average person now going to know that. So it's hard to face a reality where them either never see yet because them parents did deal with it for them or them never have to take responsibility for because them the too young for them on them own so them never had to. So they measure every aspect of life against that period of relative safety in a time when them did either have it easy or no one never blame them for have it hard. So this habit you now turn them into some indisciplined gamblers who are always willing to go a little further into trouble because somehow easy always seem achievable because them experience it already. Once you ever did win something, you feel like you can win it again. Whether it is the blissfulness of childhood or the how much thousand or even how much million. Or just like the part in a train station, yeah man. But I'm going to show you a brother in the suit and tie, yeah man. We make 456. Win couple thousand. And that's why I'm end up in this fight for him life. Cause him like the average person today. Couldn't walk away. The possibility of winning again um, kept him going you saying. Yeah man when we get a taste of winning already we feel we can we can win no matter how much time we lose. Or how much people we say lose. We spend with life I try get back the feeling. Yeah man no matter what or who we lose or destroy. I try win it back. At the same game I play when you see many parents hide behind the guys of being a serious, morally correct and upstanding parent. A parent that will protect them children from all manner of evil including pedophiles. Yeah man, them serious about them children until one of these pedophiles is a rich R&B singer named R. Kelly. And at this one you see how fast them end up and destroy them own children for money, social points and status. And I now defend R. Kelly in Bridgin, but right now me can tell you say, and now when the, when the money done, you see many of these parents used to come and talk and I go like them good. Turn back good parents all of a sudden when them turn a blind eye to the fuckery. When money around them see the singer, when it done them see a pedophile. And R. Kelly himself, like many great black men before him, is a part of him own downfall. You're absolutely right. I've always wondered why everyone seemed to keep walking. Into the same trap. You have to remember, you know, Bridget, say, the average person think them a Roman boom, you know, me I tell you. In other words, them think them special. This again is why a man with a Jim Brown dead, Zeke's gone to prison and do those work slow go for him. I still want to take up with them left half. Because him see Castro dead in a film bed at 92. And think I saw it all go for him. Because what now? The average person always think them smarter than the other person. Really? Yeah, man, not the same thing with our Kelly and our brethren. Him see many great black men before him fall and still couldn't learn because, you know, him think him smart. And many youth as you reach all him, you know, and I go do the same thing for the same fucking reason. Again, me I go tell you, say, the average person don't have an understanding of anything to the point where they can explain it to themselves or even others and understand it. So they're not certain about anything. So they're indecisive about everything. And that make them willing to gamble and risk anything. So yeah man, just like in the show, the average person with balls and things not right. But make the same people who them, who them a cuss, give them like a money or good treatment. And you saw them suddenly trust who not even one minute ago was the worst people who do the worst things in the world, Rasta me I tell you. And now them a make excuse for those people. When those people seem to can do something for them. A squid games, me I tell you, brethren. You know, so the same people we are ball about juke then, for instance, yeah man. Them are ball about this juke injustice. Them get KFC and phone card and I take them juke. You think so, my brother? Yes, brethren. You know, so this I mean at the show. When the guard show the player them the money before the vote. 
for leave our stay and all of a sudden half of them no member how much of them fellow contestants them them, them say just dirty wine and a gunshot in 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 a red light green light where the same people who them trust all of a sudden just slaughter well, at the same point, me did make one long time when me that talk about the bread up on the corner. We have burned out somebody and as the person come by two guineas, man. Nobody can remind him, say, boy. Yeah, man, them those are chat the man. I <laughs> know. At them that with the man, Roman Boom. I fight for the member, nothing wrong about the man. Oh, yes. You did say that in an, um, an earlier episode. Yeah, man, this you see happen with many of the parents versus R. Kelly, man. You want to tell me now, say, a man when at the headline for how much years for a climb tree and a shake off a little teenager them before them ripe for over 20 years to blood clot. You never hear that before you carry your daughter go sing. I bet you say even if you prove say them did know, them go say, boy, you know, me just wasn't the judgmental type and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Because people will lie to get what they want, you know. I think Robert is really a wonderful person. But the truth is, make him did broke. And you see how fast him would be a pedophile. Where them have to keep them children from. And in that moment now, them are the greatest parents, man. You can't tell them nothing. Most of these parents never care which mic them daughter are going to sing pan. As long as them are get paid for them data destruction. Whether you believe it or not, Bridget, let me tell you something, man. The biggest religion in the world, especially in the Western world, is capitalism. Because money is God and the bank is the church for this, for the worship of this God. Every other religion we approve by Babylon is a part of this one world religion. From Christianity go right back. Nonsense, you're talking rubbish. Oh, where are you? 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 What, where are you? Where are you? What are you saying? You're talking rubbish, my brother, and I'm sick of it. Even the 80s and the most secular person where you can find is part of this religion, whether you like it or not. Really? You believe that? Yeah, man, the way I say, no matter how moral, immoral, amoral, atheist, or agnostic, most people won't consider themselves. A dolly house them a play because everything where them consider as success, make them end up a bow at the feet of the great God Almighty money. Most people will do anything for afford the importance where money can buy them. But my brother. Yeah. There's a scene in the movie where um, people were allowed to leave. Uh, why, um, all right, wait, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my brother. Uh, Please, hold on. Uh, let me make a point. Uh, why would the wicked system, um, whether in the movie or in real life as you are making parallels, allow the people to just walk away from the game and do and get it? Brethren, even when them get to leave and the gate wide open the system confident, so them are going to end up right back there. Because what the players consider as real life is just another game where them are lose to. Because the system know you have to understand freedom in order to take it. Freedom comes only through spiritual maturity and discipline. And them know the average person don't socialize so. And they make sure, right? Them know so them are go back to the same indisciplined life. Where them choices keep putting them in a debt. And a bag of responsibilities where them can't manage. And don't realize why. Them know so the chaos of these players' life are going to send them right back. Come try win this game where them can't win. Because of the same indiscipline we cause every problem we make them did end up in this dangerous game in the first place. But why would the writer uh, not just come straight forward and just say what he wants to say? Why does he do it indirectly, you think? I know this formula anyway me see it, Bridgerin. I had it for years. Let me tell you something, man. When people program for reject truth, you have to do it indirectly. And that the guys of entertainment because the subconscious mind is a powerful thing. It's going to pick up for objective truth. And if people expose themselves unknowingly to enough of these type of enlightenment disguised as entertainment, then after a while, them subconsciously just start seek enlightenment and a sudden break the chain and at the same way fuck we work and why so much people affected by music and media with them consider as harmless because an evil system putting some evil subliminals in it will ruin your life and you don't know i don't think it's a coincidence why the mask with the guard them are wearing at the show look on them good look on them how them look like a speaker cage on a radio or a tv and some speaker back to me, that as a popular culture, I should have said in media, is the media them I use. Keep we in line and make sure so we're obedient to the rules. The media, the guard, 
You see when the brother complain to the guard them, say boy, he no get no food, you know, and the guard say boy, so we do it, so you know, deliberately. There is no extra we cook, just in case some no get. But me, see the party I try for sure, we you know, is that this idea of scarcity, where there is not enough, yes, is what drive the spirit of competition in a Babylon. Cause when I play a real lie, he say, him can't beat this guy there, aka the system, yeah man, him can't beat him up and demand, say him share out more, you understand? And him now go see, him, him, him go see him fill up player like himself, you know, we skip the line and eat for him share. I in a real life, you know, just like in the show. He might go turn, yeah man, a man I go turn upon the man where him feel, say him can beat or, or him have strength for, which is usually the man in the same uniform as him. So in a show now when the bully, we take him food, beat him to death, kick him to sickness. You know what he say? The girl, them no say nothing, them stand up and look. Now the same thing happen daily when the idea say we don't have enough. Me could turn pan one another. One great example of black a turn pan black, ghetto a turn pan ghetto. A same way, and for the same reason, them no say nothing when the DJ or the rapper turn against one another when them sing the worst things for program our actions. Action, action, action. In the meantime, truth and reality and a dream time. Curly locks. In the meantime, listen, a theme time. Go and go tell them, say, you're rasta around the world. A curly locks around the world. Six the king has a purple near your shirt. When we say purple, we mean that. As usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation, and Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. And Rebel 13 collections for the finest in custom design clothing, yeah man, and everything printing, except fingerprinting. Yes, and also, support my Kingston 13 clothing, yes, support the merchandise in the link below, yes man. This section is also brought to you by Bunks About Kids Party Rentals, it's at Bunks About, yes, for the finest in all things related to kids parties, fun days and other events, yeah man, so... When you look for customize and experience for your child or just regular patrons in general at a special event that they will never forget. Don't bunks go all about. Bunks about Rasta. The number to call is 876-404-1714. And please remember, say, if you're there nowhere near Stone Mountain, Georgia, on a Friday night and you miss the original yard style cooking, yeah, man. Call off the suicide. Yes, life nice again, man. Because uh, dumpling house just save your life, Rasta. The item can call right now, 470-844-9393. Any time for place the item order. Yeah, man, and a quick disclaimer, me always make this disclaimer, yeah. I will not be held responsible for the mental decline of anyone who go dumpling house go mad and take set on the people them when them taste the top quality cuisine. <laughs> yes, my book Planet Earth is also available at dumpling house. So yeah man. This section is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Them deal with all things immigration in Canada. You know by now. Just call Renaissance at 437-703-1147. Yes, to eat. The consultation is absolutely free and as usual if you're in America and you hear about Renaissance immigration and boy I say you need a service just like that don't panic none at all after there is Lewis Law Professional Association and like me always say all when the whole graveyard of immigration crosses that run you down yeah man them can put a stop to it them deal with things like what visa citizenship removal of conditions no matter what shampoo I say them deal with waivers me I tell you and all matters related to immigration in America call now 95 Five four five three zero one seven one seven for access immigration heaven 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 you said you talk boss in the meantime up top I'm represent for curly locks device box you understand stay in a own alien yeah all right Yes, please remember you now to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Yes, man. And don't make Dwight cooking show. And the rest are serious purple soldier. Them have to find on the yard and put on a finger upon the related buttons. <laughs> I tell you, Rasta. All right. Watch out now. Hold on, hold on, my brother. Before you continue. Um, yeah. So, in essence, uh, you're saying that uh, the average person, including Christians, uh, don't know who they are uh, or what they will do until they have to do it? Yeah, man, you know, see Peter who did a walk and a chop off face for Jesus. 
And when the judgment come, and, and, and him say big nail and cross, I give out how fast him say no know Jesus. When the girl pint him out as a disciple, and him do it two more times before the rooster crow. And when the rooster did really, I say to Jesus, I say, boy, I saw it go, my brethren, some disciples are made in China. Me say, man who think them are the most loyal thing from God, McDag and pubic here. Man who believes that they would take a bullet for your next man, end up get arrested with that man. For fraud and they are jail. And by the time them dead day, for six hours, the man I try to figure out how to get out himself and left the neck. Somebody where him say, he would take a bullet for. And you are hear him. Oh, you know, so by right, yeah, you are on the money going, I know, so by right, we're not supposed to dare. So if when we got a court Monday, the lawyer, we tell the lawyer them that, we tell the judge, them have to go throw the case and let, and let we go. Yeah, man, let we go. But in a reality, he might pitch it like he's a plan to free the two of them. But afraid him afraid, and I look out for himself, and maybe the next person would do the same thing too. If I, if I the next man they earn the money did go in a, whether it's this man you were free of the jail or a Peter from the Bible. It don't make them evil or bad. Because guess what? Them programmed by everything where them believe from birth to follow the first rule of life in this hell, which is self-preservation. And it's that very rule keep the fires of this hell at in our life. And we don't know this desire to preserve self is how otherwise decent people become evil for the way them consider and survive. But, but, but my brother, self-preservation is key to survival. What nonsense are you getting at now? How could self-preservation be a bad thing? Brethren, in ancient Greece, the first rule was not self-preservation. Based on my assessment, that was actually the second rule. Because the first rule was what? Know thyself. You have no self in order to preserve it. We live in a system where stamp out the true state of self from a barn and replace it with an imposter. So in reality, we have been preserving and protecting a self that is an illusion, a liar, an elaborate hoax and a counterfeit. Hey, watch a man. Let me, me continue this. The VIP purple comment of the day is coming from Joshua McIntosh. Yes, Joshua say. I remember in an early episode, you spoke about the system deliberately pushing narratives, especially on the black community, that caused them to be divided. And how they caused this by allowing songs and visuals that program their actions, that lead to them destroying each other. But as soon as you say something against the unnatural agenda that the system pushes, all hell breaks loose. And I think you also touched on it in the episode with T.I. speaking up for the baby. It's exactly what's happening now. With the whole Dave Chappelle thing and the transsexual community cancelling him for his comments and his Netflix special, The Closer. I now fully get with the whole grid of consciousness thing. As it's funny how Dave said the same thing that you said. When he made the point about the baby killing someone in Walmart and no outrage. I would love to hear your take on why these people are so easily offended. And if you believe that black celebrities can ever truly get justice in this western system. Big up the mighty Zion. Alright Joshua, yeah man. Firstly for answer the question about Dave and the trans, yeah, the trans attacks. Yeah man, me stand by my belief, say. Many of these people with a gay straight, narrow, bend, up, down. It's like any average person. Socialize for be insecure by the very way the mind work. You believe that? Yeah, man. I believe. So if you have a belief and you and you feel the need for force other people for believe it, you don't believe it. Nonsense. A way I say belief in a something to the point where you know it bring confidence. If it is that you truly believe or know say something, it's definitely true. For example, again. The nobody is perfect, like when most people love bring up as an escape card when them caught being imperfect. The question remain, why the anger and frustration? And some of the one question, why not budget for the imperfections you believe they should have dead? Just like how you budget for, for immaturity in a children so you can tolerate it. People who don't believe something have no confidence in it. So when it comes to that subject, 
them get angry because they're not sure about where they are defend in a way that is objective. Brethren, dropping something on the ground and it head that way because of gravity. It's not an opinion, it's a fact. If you don't like it, well, that's your business. But it don't change that fact. I don't say nothing wrong with the Dave Chappelle, though. Because I don't know how the man can take wood and can't take a joke. And as usual, you know, me not generalize when me attack because people have to know and observe because you know, must notice say, there's been a lot of homosexual and trans people who come out in support of Dave Chappelle. Because them totally agree say this whole situation. Childish. Kid games they're playing, you saying? Brethren, the system socialize a good majority of people in the West. For be children forever. Kid games, brethren. And to your justice for black celebrities question, you know, Joshua, well... I believe there can be no justice in a system where have its foundation or roots in an unnatural order. We set up to contradict everything that was ordained or intended for mankind by the natural order of the natural world. I believe in the justice system. I don't see where you're going with this nonsense. And what you say? There has never been justice in this material world that don't serve our agenda. Nonsense. You're talking rubbish. Rubbish war. Rubbish. Hold on, brethren. Now, where are Show me the justice in our system. We have child protective services who come at your yard, come take away your picnic if you shout after them too loud because them claim for you protect the child from abuse. So, when them there, when some parents admit openly in an interview or in a court, so them leave them kids in the care of a known pedophile for months. What pedophile you talking? Oh, you mean, R. Kelly? How child protective service not arrest them for child negligence. As a matter of fact, them is allowed to testify against the predator. And even when it is often found beyond the shadow of reasonable doubt, say a lie them a tell. There is no automatic penalty or punishment for attack. The reputation or character will support the person livelihood. There is no justice, brethren. Just agenda. Quote us a theater. It no care about truth. Just the illusion of truth will support desired agenda. May I tell you that? You think so because a man boss a case him innocent? Or if him, or because him lose it, him guilty? It all boils down to which lawyer put on a better show. And who is the better intimidator? While the objective truth have to stay far from the equation because it does not have an agenda. You believe that? Yes, I tell you that. I may understand. Say, 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 it's a delicate situation, you know. It's a delicate and complicated situation because people of substantial wealth and influence can and has often exploited people of less means who can't do anything about it. But on the flip side, you know, people of less means who make up the majority of the world population in you know, every country are often motivated to exploit the rich by telling life on them to collect a big paycheck because what again in other system yeah, money is God the system don't have any time for going at the kind of details where it really take for determine truth objectively so all them want is the best lie disguised as truth so in most cases you have to just pray so, so the justice where you want line up with whatever agenda them have or where them have served hey if mankind did live in a them true state of consciousness in a region, we wouldn't even need court because we wouldn't have the beliefs where we create the type of actions we bring with a court. Because we would have lived in a state of cooperation and not competition. Because we would have, we would have spiritual intelligence at that, in, in that state. I tell you, so in this material realm where subjective truth exalted over objective truth, there can be no justice because there is no balance. When interpreting reality. So that fuck up the scale when Lady Justice I work with me, I tell you that. I personally don't believe that the justice system serves any particular agenda. I don't. We, we I say? I don't. I just don't. Them going after Mr. Kelly or any other pedophile is based on moral justice. That's what I think. Fair enough. So oh, we not see them Catholic priests here in front of a judge. For fuck them little boy here. Yeah. For how much sense you know. It is because the system support the homosexual agenda and don't want to put it in a negative light. So them keep pushing the narrative say pedophilia is a heterosexual crime. A heterosexual for those who don't know are people who are attracted to the opposite sex. Man to woman, woman to man. And the heterosexual them now just stand up and look because what? The majority of them bow to the rulers of darkness who control influential places of authority in this material realm. May I tell you that? This evil system here have the material don't want another for money and status. 
these VIPs behind the system is a set of demon whose agenda is to completely move mankind from natural to unnatural and finally recreate mankind in a freedom image and likeness. Read the Bible and see if them not say that start the war between God and the devil. Why believe again are just energy or forces within the consciousness. And the spiritual war between these two forces are the longest war in our history. It is the war behind every war where we fight in our life. Hey, make R. Kelly did the same as a white woman stuck in a middle age male singer body. And you so quick, the would have said he's been prosecuted for his sexuality. And he wouldn't have a fret for freedom because he probably wouldn't even go to jail in the first place. But agenda is everything to the system. Them don't care zero about who him fuck. When them are do the same thing or even worse. 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 In the meantime. Alright, I go and get back to the conversation there, yeah man. But I go and play this song here first. Alright, this song you know we are going to play is for all of the purple people them right now. Yes, we realize that when them wake up and find themselves, them start lose many people. But don't worry about that. A life a reorganize and prepare you for the life where it meant to live. Don't fear the loneliness. Embrace it. Loneliness are the first stage of healing. What you go through when you get over the sickness of wrong self where you suffer from all your life. Only in the silence of loneliness can you find your true self. May I tell you that. Those who you lose, you never have in the first place. I know it's not easy to live truth in a world below a lie. And that means it's going to take war to maintain peace in this kind of world. But the song you have for every purple soldier who prefer dead in the war more than living in the lie. Anthony B, Lonely Soldier. Here goes. Yeah, man, if you know, so this is Leela Ike, and right and now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. Check it. Man, it is available on Amazon and Planet Earth Book. Dot com. It's available in, a, in a all farms, yeah, man. So you know, you can get the audio book on Audible and iTunes and just about any, anywhere other book sell Rasta. So, yes, there's no reason for no support. All right, so. It is also available locally at JA Deals. You don't know that already. Yes, Kansan Spring Road, right across from the transport centre. Yes, you know the plaza where mothers there. Yeah, man. So nobody tell me so to find it hard to find it. <laughs> yes, Rasta. Yeah, man. And check out JA Deals website at what jadeals.com for them other locations where they have the book available. Also, yeah, man. JA Deals also ship internationally to the Caribbean, etc. And the book is also located upstairs Island Grill in a place where named Cellular Repairs. Yeah, man, upstairs, right there. So in a, in a Twin Gates Plaza that day. So, yeah, man. Wait there again. Yes, it, they are selected, yeah, locations of Kingston Bookshop. Yeah, man, and Tash Chemicals, Westmoreland. Yes, for call Tash Chemicals, you don't know, so you're 876-354-7543. Yeah, man, pick it up now. Yes, Rasta. And talking about book, yes, look out for the re-release, yes, the re-release of my first book. Many people never know, say, I did have a first book when named The Road to Zion, yeah, man. And of course, it's, this is the revised version, so don't miss that, yes, in a couple of weeks, that out, out, out. In the meantime. In the meantime, and between time, what is coming is coming. My brother. Yeah. I believe that R. Kelly should be punished for what he did. And I, 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 I'm not changing my mind. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hold on, hold on. With him being found guilty, I believe justice was served. I don't see any agenda. And that's how I see it. Listen to me, I'm a bridge, man. I believe same should be punished too. Yeah, man. He man never had a pedophile or anybody would break the law. I said there is no agenda. But tell me something. Who own R. Kelly catalog right now? Music catalog. I don't know, I guess, I guess it's children. And I'm pitting them. A RCA Rasta, the record company, which is a division of, of, of Sony Music. The same Sony, you know, mark you. Where owe Michael Jackson how much hundred million, and him just dead sudden. And Kelly songwriting copyrights controlled by O again, Universal. In music typically generate around three million US in a quarterly payments. To the, to the rights holders, to people who hold the rights. But what agenda could they have? 
to see him go to prison. We ask, Mr. Bredrin, our Kelly is way past him prime and is worth more either dead or imprisoned because that create more mystique with fans who know immortalize, yeah, them how immortalize him now in him videos and music because them now go see him again. Everybody motive for bring him down is not morally motivated but financial. Remember me tell you that. You have proof of that? Yeah, man, data shows that since the docu-series when he survived in R. Kelly in 2019, in music, it's 780 million auto streams in the United States alone. I'm not count YouTube in the Rasta YouTube video. And he remain very popular for YouTube. He works still for hundreds of official playlists globally. For Spotify, he draws 5.2 million listeners each month. I just don't see why people would lie, my brother. He did it and he should pay as a lesson to others with such nefarious intentions. That's my belief. Oh, you mean? Say, so you know, see why people... Brethren, it's all about money, me I tell you that. I wish nefarious intentions at all. Why I'm loving ex-wife then, yeah, man, Andrea Kelly. Why she and R. Kelly divorced from 2009 and she even married again to a next singer, a next R&B singer when he Brian Mackey. And yeah, man, six days after they meet, they married and, and divorced two months after. Why she did still use R. Kelly last name during that marriage the whole time? Why the cricket them come out early? But no answer that. The question when nobody can get no answer for is this. It is a known fact that R. Kelly is completely illiterate. So how him get to organize these kid fucking sessions? Rubbish! Well on a man! How him get to organize these sessions without help? Who buy the plane ticket them? We fly in the girl them? Who pick them up at the airport? Now all of the people them who help him do that is allowed to testify against him. Without facing any kind of consequence for, for, for them part in it. What happened to for them nefarious intentions? That are not justice, that are agenda. If you are going to sink one man who couldn't do none of it by himself. All John Legend and Jay-Z and the whole of them will distance themselves from R. Kelly. Swear to them safe because we're now. For them death in the arena no come yet. I don't know why humans say them intelligent. And yesterday they must say a man is the greatest at something when do. And give him all Grammy feet, yeah man. Award him. And today when him show a kind of fly in our next area I'm like, them take back him Grammy them. So you're saying they took back R. Kelly's Grammys? Yeah man. Him nah about to be a bad singer because in this world you have to be one thing or the other. So if you do something bad it automatically expel any kind of good qualities or talent we have. And then people who think this way now I gotta tell you say so them believe wholeheartedly. Say nobody is perfect. And yet the first impulse is to distance themselves. From anybody we found to be imperfect at the first sight of them imperfections. By now saying that the objective reality, you know, of them talent never exists in the first place. Because what? A fault in our imperfect being was discovered. All these celebrities that live this illusion say them free. Them are slave to the system no matter what them think. The system own them. Not no new brethren. The celebrity athletes and stars of ancient Rome and Greek civilization then was the gladiators who were, who were slaves Rasta. Slaves owned by the VIP of the day, much like today. Not no new. The top gladiators just because them could have sell out stadiums and guarantee them master money was treated well, given the finest food, clothes, chariot, woman and money. When them put them in the arena for fight one another to the death, much to the delight of the, of, of the crowd. Each of them, just like R. Kelly, think them are gonna always be the one who live it out. Only few of them did know when to escape because the roar of the crowd is too sweet, yeah man, the lighters and the whistles and the touch. Yeah man, it's sweet. So them think the people them love them, yeah man, people love them. So them overstay them welcome. Till them lie down under a sword that beg the crowd for show mercy. And just like the crowd today, them now have none. It's on to the next gladiator. 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 In the meantime. Truth and reality and a dream time. Curly locks. In the meantime, listen a theme time. Go on go tell them say you're rats around the world. A curly locks around the world. Six the king has a purple nation. When we say purple, we mean that. 
This next section of In The Meantime is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Them deal with all things immigration in Canada, as you know by now. Yeah, man, them can fix the visa where you overstay because you're frightened and run off. And now people are take advantage of you in every way, shape and form. Yeah, man, I have to work for less than where you work. And you feel there is no way out. Renaissance Immigration believes as long as there was a way in, there is always a way out. Just call them now at 437-703-1147 to eat. A member, the consultation is absolutely free. Free. What's in the news? Something tell me so you never know, love the answer to that question this week, you know, pastor. And, and why wouldn't I? Because one of your fellow pastor, yeah, man, man of God. I cut you out like a full factory my run at St. James. Too blood clot, it rough. Don't call him any pasta. He's no fucking pasta. Forgive my goddamn French. I will. If you want what? me to sit here for five more seconds, you will refrain from insulting the true people of God by referring to this demon as a pasta. My brother, I won't take it. Then what if I call him? If I, if, if I saw him same name? He's no damn pasta. But it look like I might bring out the demon in a you because I never hear you talk. So yet, you just prove the condition of, of, of humans being just one choice away from demon or angel. Listen man, cut your crap and continue or, or I'm leaving. Then you know, go on about your business. How you think afraid of your mouth? My brother, you know what? Uh, let me apologize uh, first to you and uh, and the fans for, for hearing me display such unprofessionality. I shouldn't have resort. I shouldn't have gone so low. I, my apologies. I've been having a real terrible week um, as I'm being bombarded with a million questions regarding my faith. So, so, so my brother, yeah. uh, please continue. All right. So by now, everyone know about the pastor. Yes. Kevin Smith, the man will lead a church. Named Pathways International in a place named Albion in a St. James, yeah man. This pastor is a man who travel all over the world, yeah man, for minister. Yes, he, he minister globally and it also look, yeah man, from the appearance of things that any, that when he travel anywhere, the Obia man, them, them find them. Yeah man, them say him reside, yes. He previously resided in a Canada where on November 5th, 2007, yes, them say Smith, you know, is convicted, yes, he was convicted for rape a 21 year old man. Yeah man, and him do six months of that prison sentence, yeah man, and was deported to Jamaica. And you saw life funny if him didn't know about Renaissance, him, him would have gone back to Canada before all of this, you know. But anyway, him come to Jamaica, and at some point, it is obvious that him upgrade him status from church to cult. And apparently, nobody never seen nothing out of the ordinary with a man a walk. With a next man beside him, a whole umbrella over him head. Like say, them a shoot a scene in a coming to America. Because the video them with me, see Rasta me, I tell you, me just a look for Eddie Murphy, run out. And said a scene, they not do good. And say, cut, more makeup. So yes, yeah man, the word of the day again is cult, yeah man, it mean. Great devotion to a person, idea, object or movement. For example, now I would have say, religion, yes, a religion or a government or a authority figure. You surely cannot compare a government to a cult. You can't. You're going off the rails now, my brother. Uh, what you say? You're talking garbage. Well on, well on, uh, bread. Nonsense. Garbage. Well on, brethren, brethren. GLP and PNP are the biggest cult this country I ever see for over 50 years. And we still don't wake up for no... Hey, nowadays when people say Jamaica, society for the blind. It come in like a the whole country them attack. I tell you already, you know. Jamaica have every title, Rasta, me I tell you. We have the best athlete, musician. We are even the best at being the worst. And right now it look like Haiti did a go on too good in the Obia title. And Jamaica march go feet. Because nothing else can explain them going in here. We also have some of the biggest fool upon the planet. You can't get these fools nowhere else in the world, me I tell you. They're a tourist attraction. Stupidity out of this world, you saying? Yeah, man. Other planets you are fool them and even try make none. Jamaica have premium quality, top shelf, high grade, idiot. And when me say high grade, idiot, me not talk people when no no good weed, you know. Me attack the finest set of idiots with curry goat and refreshments at party headquarters after every election can buy. 
But front and joke aside though, only a good minority of Jamaicans are no fool, me I tell you. And even many of the idiot them is not irredeemable idiot in a rasta. We gone a shop gone buy sense and, and now come back for now because them actually a wait for the shopkeeper for pass it give them. Many of them are no idiot, them just spiritually compromised by a society. We design them mind for them seek salvation in a anything outside of themselves. You think so? Yeah man, the way society design your mind make you end up depressed and stuck in a state of continuous bad decisions in pursuit or a look for them, a sense of purpose and direction. Sometimes it's not simply stupidity why people end up in a these situations, you know. It's vulnerability where them belief system open them up to. I still say governments and cults are, are different things, my brother. You're delusional. I, I, I just don't, don't see it. Not because you don't see it, don't mean it no day day, Bridgin. You can't see Wi-Fi. Bridgin, watch a man. A human's involved in a cult, you know, an alien. That means a human psychology. I go operate the same way in a every situation. Straight across the board. People devoted to cult leaders for the same reason why a man, for example, a hang on from the narcissistic girl skirt tail, no matter where she do him. And it go vice versa too. The psychological dynamics are the same in a every situation. Your very spouse is a cult leader when you think so less of yourself. And so much of them that you ignore objective truth. And follow everything with them one just to make them recognize you. The problem is we are trying to assign the word cult to the one thing we are programmed to see it as. And that is religion. Especially Christianity. When in fact a cult, if you truly examine the meaning or definition, is simply a psychological pattern of behavior that defines every abusive relationship. Because them is void or short of spiritual maturity and one or both side. Many people get caught up in a cult-like relationship. From birth, whether it was them parents or later on in life, them spouse. Because the average person trained to see everything will make them happy outside of themselves. So most of we bow to people in order to please them so we can be pleased. That they are being pleased and so the system train we. For view happiness. So, yeah. my brother. Yeah. What is your view? What do you really think happened with this whole Kevin Smith thing? Because I, I, I'm baffled, my brother. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. I think it is quite possible, yeah, man. Say, you have some video or some incriminating kind of evidence with some top people. A, yeah, a back all them fists and a dance around fire. Or a fuck some little picnic. Where them have a lick out all part of them. But a ninja man face me as a right now because uh, something not right. You think so? It is very possible. Because you have some picture you know. We are circulate with the pastor. And many top officials, athletes and entertainers. Yeah man. I know people, yeah, many people are say boy right now. Anyone can, can ask anybody to take a picture. So that not prove nothing. But yeah, fair enough. That is true. But one can also argue. Say some of the people like. Certain top tier government officials. I know people who you just run into a mega mart in aisle nine. These are people who you know see until some kind of political game a play and I feed them time for but. My personal view is that them picture and really prove nothing. Me I tell you that. But by no, no one can deny how morally bankrupt the good majority of these VIPs who run the game is. And based on the track record of these politicians over the years. Even if in this case them innocent. It rough upon them because you cannot blame people if them feel say they murder the man. For keep him quiet. Because them thing they happen to people every day who threaten to expose the higher ups in, in, a, in a many governments around the world. When them know things we can bring them down. Just like how them say the man tell Jim Brown say boy. One ship there in the harbor you know, ready for carry him go meet Castro. And tell him to light him mattress in him cell. And the water come free him up because the place a burn down. And they make him stay in there till him dead. It look like him never watch how they come. These things happen when you know things about high level people. And you are about to go down and you can bring them down with you. Go introduce them to the floor. You believe that? Oh you mean Badger in the way I say I believe that the same thing happened to the billionaire when named Jeffrey Epstein. You look at research brother. Yeah, your man him is associated or him was associated with some top level billionaire. World leaders and influential people like Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Prince Andrew, who is Queen Elizabeth Badbrook grandson. 
just to name a few we, 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 we don't even start the list yet him have them on video i'm private island where ironically yes ironically name little saint james saint james are going away from where there but yeah him have them on video all in a mansion yeah man a fuck underage girl and allegedly boys for who like boys and when the investigation pan him for sex trafficking get wicked the whole of them back out pan jeffrey and as usual, them distance themselves. Jeffrey just call them one one and say, check your WhatsApp. You think a planet Earth book tour coming soon? Him saying go give them. I drop them, drop down when them see themselves in a video in a leather brief of them knee. With little girl I put foreign objects in a them body. And I say, call her mommy. You lying. Lie what? Them never know say my video them. For have insurance just in case. Them plan for turn pan him when everything goes sour. Hey, you see when them finally lock up Jeffrey? I dead him dead before the trial. And you just hear say, boy, the stress make him kill himself inside that Manhattan jail cell. And nothing more from that. The word was come right after him name in a every sentence from that. Brethren, if you know the things where the super rich into because of how easily them get bored because them have everything, you drop down. And like me always say, that's why some of them fuck pussy till them tired. And just gone in at the ass because one now. It not the far them not have to take bus. Till them tired of that too and start ask about years old. Till nothing can please them. Good God! Something not right about this whole thing a brethren, me I tell you. Something not add up. Because them have the man a station a reason like a yard back. Them there are all vibes where juice a drink and boat a run. And no handcuff. And them want cuss people for notice say when him dead. Him never did a wear none either. In a one news clip, the police has a boy, them no know why him never have a none. And then we don't know, them come back, come say boy, and the fireman them take off the cuff. And speaking of vibes, when them did a transfer, vibes cartel. Handcuff the help and embraces, and this man here will murder how much people in a church in a broad nightlight. And make him stay out there in a jeep and see. Come a station, come a talk soft about which part of St. Catherine him come from. I know a kin teeth like the whole away. Him just go out with up a Albion was a skit where funny bad. No him lie a Churchill neat and now. Come on, come say. Them shouldn't move him without our, our, our knowledge. And them no come back, come say. The reason for the transfer of this man was that them couldn't charge him a mobile. So me I say look like light gone a mobile and the charger now work. So them have to bring him, go town, go charge him. I must admit it does look a bit suspicious. Yeah man, and the man also I say the reason why they move him is because he wouldn't get a fair trial of Moby. Because public opinion is against him. But the question is, at which part in this country you could have carried this man you go? If you no find people who no done make up their mind already saying for dead. That don't make no sense, brethren. Then the police high command now, I go say. The police themselves who was doing the escorting, I forgot to tell with the reason why them never drive the toll. And then later them come back out, come say, them never take the toll with him because police personnel are not exempt from toll fees. Which is complete slackness on the part of the government if this is true. That's so true. Yeah man, and the police, them say, boy, whenever them pay toll out of them pocket, them not get back them money. <laughs> but let me tell you, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know. Hey, you ever see some dirty girl we have secret for the man and just stop wash? I saw the pastor you go on in a region. I where him get him confidence for pop chew about a kidney patient and cut throat with impunity. I where him know we make him sure say him could have do that. But then again, him did tell the police woman for galang out there, the, the gun, I go protect you. And him did send out a man with, 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 with knife, he go take on man with gun. So, boy, I don't know what I go on here, so Bridget. It's rough. So, what you think about people at the crash scene who, who, who are actually saying that, um, he should have died a long time ago and that, um, they should drive slow with him to ensure that he dies? So says people who majority of them back murder and rapists every day, brethren. Remember, we live in our country where most of we choose which evil we like and don't like and justify them every day. We live in our world where the devil tell we who is God. So both the best and the worst people in this world is that devil worshipper because them don't like the objective truth, which is God. So J. Flag, how are you so quiet? How are you not come for no body pastor? 
you know, not claim him like how some of go for Dave Chappelle and everybody else who have an opinion about the lifestyle. And a ball every minute about abuse from straight people over on the sexuality. Well, so one on here, I cut straight people short. After him transfer them life savings and them life insurance in a female name. Him proud too, him have up on a rainbow flag. When you come for him man, no make it look so. I mean, I say go for him dead body, you know. I say come claim him and defend your fellow gay. Just like when you know claim that people have trouble, you know. And you know, come boycott and cancel people. It look bad man, how all of this go on and, and, and a cricket. You know, my brother? Yeah. Your comparison between governments and cults, um, still, it does not, it's not sitting well with me, and. With what? Because I'm thinking about it and, and, and I can't see the correlation between, because, for example, um, no one sees a, a politician as God. A way I say, the average person in a, in a, in a Western culture, by them very belief system, program to have a cultic type personality, and like any other psychological misfiring, this personality have many faces across different relationships. The one between people and politicians is strikingly similar to the one between congregation and religious leader. Just like how people look for salvation or escape from life's many problems then and seek the answer to the God question outside of themselves. And while somebody intercede with this external or outside God upon them behalf. And also pastors and religious leaders get to trick them so them special and only them can talk to God. Because the average person never go inside to find God. So these intercessors are middlemen. We are go back and forth between them and God. Become them God. Politicians use the same method. Anything or anyone you depend upon for your salvation are your God. Whether it's your girlfriend, boyfriend or your pastor. Same thing. Another word of the day is salvation. Yeah, man, we simply mean a source or means of deliverance from harm or ruin. Anyone where you depend upon for that deliverance is your God. Then just like Smith, you know, yeah, man, they know see him where the politician them confident in our ignorance. And make millions of our daily because what? We blindly depend upon them for do everything for we. Like instead of read for ourselves and understand what we want. We want them to do it for we, so we easy to manipulate and take for fool. Because them same one, socialize with, you have an aversion, or I should I say, a strong hatred for objective reality. The same way our pastors and other cult leaders get them power from convincing the gullible that God is a bipolar monster sitting on a cloud with an appetite for confusion who the gullible can talk to themselves. A same so government, some politician, Use the media create narratives and this we human sacrifice person, person very fair dealing with of everything with reality and, reality and, 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 and the natural challenges. We come with it, yeah man, so the average person can just depend upon them for deal with it for them and them have them right where them want them forever and I saw them control them. I still say they are very different because um, politicians um, don't do blood sacrifices. I still don't see what you're saying, my brother. How you explain that? How I say, when them control or manipulate the social equation to ensure or make sure say then people make choices we will kill them off in a one way or the other. When for example you know, a man want the gun will look so cool in the show or in the song with them use and program them. No blood sacrifice that coming right up when you can't tell him say him no weak if him try communicate rather than fight. And the item can tell me in the comment section you know. How much other ways this system has sacrificed people every day? Yeah, man. You know, can chime in. All I can say is that we as Christians, my brother and I take this time to make it known, condemn this heinous crime. This human sacrificing is a chilling and terrifying reality. This has nothing to do with God. Absolutely nothing to do with God. All right. See it again. <laughs> yeah, man. Everything where the average person thinks. Them truly understand and accept is a fantasy and dally house. Them a play even with God. Really? Yeah, man. People always think them can deal with the worst situations when them far from those situations. What the hell you mean? A whole heap of Christian we are cussing now about human sacrifice that have nothing to do with God. I'm here to Christians who say all of the stories of the Bible as literally happening, literally taking place. And not as symbolic metaphors were meant for help we understand the spiritual reality of our life. Them say them believe say literal, but them now remember say God did tell Abraham for sacrifice him own son Isaac. 
to prove say him love him. And every Christian we hear this at church, every Sunday for you month century now, I clap and I say hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because them never they know near the situation where they agree with. But no, when it happened in a reality, when Kevin bust wild pipe and have blood a spray all boat in the church and show them a human sacrifice look like in a real life, them turn fool and I condemn it. When I eat them agree with all these years and I tell you, and God and human sacrifice no stop this so. Because in a John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. When you don't understand one fuck about objective reality, a.k.a. God, mankind attempt to deal with what and who we truly are by suppressing or holding back them natural emotions instead of to try to understand and manage them. Because every problem we are facing in our life, I'm going to take this opportunity again to remind you, say, it's because we train for believe, say, the only thing we are is good. So we strive in everything we do for be only that. And trying to be only good is exactly why we're so evil. We hide truth and live lie. This is what normal is in this hell we call home. So right now, all of my purple dogs, yeah man, please stand up and put your hands over your heart and sing the national anthem. It rough, 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 rough. <laughs> In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time.